types of unemployment. There are three types of unemployment. There's structural unemployment, there's frictional unemployment, and there's cyclical unemployment. Structural unemployment is long-term unemployment. Structural unemployment is a longer lasting form of unemployment caused by fundamental shifts in an economy caused by factors such as technology, competition, and government policy. Examples of structural employment would include bank tellers as the ATM machines start to take their place. Airline reservationists. You can now do your own ordering of airline tickets online. Mine workers have structurally lost their jobs as foreign competition has come in, lowering the price of commodity prices, and mines begin to close. That's structural unemployment. Structural unemployment also occurs when workers' skills do not match the jobs that are available. So if workers aren't updating their skills to the newest technology, to the competition, then we're going to have what's called structural unemployment. Frictional unemployment is short-term unemployment. Frictional unemployment occurs when workers lose or leave their current job and are in the process of finding another one. For instance, let's say I don't like my job at the university, I decide to leave, go out and look for another job, I am then considered to be frictionally unemployed. It's short-term unemployment. Seasonal unemployment is part of frictional unemployment. Ski instructors, when the snow leaves the mountain and their job ends, they are seasonally unemployed until they find another job during the summertime. They could be golf instructors or something at resorts in warmer climates. Frictional unemployment, don't forget, is part of full employment. If we're at full employment, we have some unemployment, and the unemployment that we have at full employment is both structural unemployment plus frictional unemployment. The third type of unemployment is cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment relates to the business cycle. As the economy picks up, then cyclical employment picks up. And there's more cyclical employment getting us beyond full employment. And then let's say the economy starts in its downturn. As it starts in its downturn and then gets to full employment, you notice then that the cyclical unemployment is going up. And as we continue in this contractionary cycle, cyclical employment keeps going up and up and up and up. And then as we hit the trough and we start our expansionary cycle, then cyclical unemployment goes down and down and down until we get to full employment, 